What's going on YouTube? It's your boy John and we back at it again on the Kicks and Bricks channel, y'all. So hey, I got you guys, let's see, one, two, three, four, five sneaker reviews <clears throat> that I've been uploading the last last week each day. You know, I kinda recorded all those in a uh I think in a day or two and then I kinda staggered them out, you know, trying to see if I could that works out so maybe you guys could have some constant content from me and you know maybe the algorithm pick it up and whatnot so i think i'm gonna do that from now on just make a whole bunch of videos have them ready to uh, you know post whenever i get the chance and then just little by little as i you know day by day i release them to y'all so but yeah um i did five sneaker reviews two phone posits uh the theons the uh Air, uh, Air DT Max, the Air Max Plus, and then the recently released uh, Air Jordan 6 Retro Olympics, y'all. So make sure you go check those out real quick. You know, give it a like, give it a subscribe, give a share for those y'all. So uh, views are going up, subscribers are going up. I appreciate y'all. And yeah, hey, like I said, you guys keep doing that and I'll keep putting the stuff out. So, all right. So finally, but wait. I do have some more collection videos also. Remember, I've only gotten up to the Air Jordan 6s as far as my collection. And then my foams, Jordan 1s, Jordan 3s, 4s, 5s, and 6s. I got 10s in here, 11s, 12s, 13s, and 14s. And then I've got some Air Force 1s and stuff that I can uh, finish showing off. Oh, and my uh, my Air More Up Tempo. So. Ah, right, yeah, well, finally, finally, we're going to do a Lego time lapse and review video, y'all. Um, I've had, I mean, my backlog, I gotta show y'all, man. My backlog is tremendous right now. And my last work trip that I went on about three weeks ago, I ended up taking at least, I want to say at least seven sets with me, if not more. And when I got off work, I brought my camera stuff with me did the time lapse so um yeah I, uh, I got a lot of a lot of the you know um, time lapses done but of course I didn't feel like doing the whole video there because you know have the backdrop of the room and I mean it was a hotel I've done that before it didn't turn out that great I, I think it was about a year ago that I did it took some um, time lapses and did the whole review and everything back in the uh, I want to say last year around July-ish, maybe April-ish or something like that. So, all right. Well, you know what? Let me stop flapping my guns and let's let's see uh, what sets we're gonna review today. I'm gonna start out from small to big. You know, um, this one right here that I'm gonna review was a real small set. Um, I'm gonna say like maybe 500 pieces or so, but it had to do with the Mandalorian season three. Now. If you have all the Star Wars sets, you know which set I'm talking about. All right, well, let me show y'all. The set is right here. Boom. So it is the, uh, oh, wait, it's not even 500 pieces. I'm bugging out. <laughs> it was the Pez Vizsla and Moff Gideon Battle. And, of course, this was the uh, last episode of The Mandalorian Season 3. Had that big, you know, fight where... Uh, Paz does the, you know, gets uh, ended by the uh, Imperial Praetorian Guard, basically. So, yeah, we're going to sit here. We're going to build this time lapse, give you all up close and personal, review the set, what I like, what I don't like about it, and then uh, we'll take it from there, y'all. All right, well, there's nothing more to it than to do it. So, let's get this time lapse rolling, and let's get the review going. Let's get it. All right, y'all, well, that was the time lapse for this Paz, Vizsla, and Moff Gideon battle scene. So pretty much, it's really small, you know, little Lego set, y'all. You saw it didn't take much to put it together. But at the same time, see, you got this big mechanism here for the door. 
hold it up and I believe you can lock it into place with this little thing over here on the this elbow technique you can lock it into place if you want to let me see oh oh see that's what happens when uh, you don't pay attention y'all but yeah see you can lock that in place and knock the uh the hoods off of the uh the imperial guard so i'll grab those here shortly but other than that yep had that locked it in with that lego technic piece and then of course if you want to bring it back down just hold it up rotate the piece and boom it closes y'all so then you got moff gideon on this little rotating turret with some stud launchers and Moff got his jetpack, all that good stuff, y'all. And of course, as y'all see, the Imperial cards right there with their lights, it was giving that lightsabers, with their batons and their, um, I don't even know what to call that, y'all. But it's a dope. I would have, I wish they would have put red instead of pink to match their, uh, the whole get ups, y'all. But excuse me while I grab these two little, where they go? Hmm, actually, no. I'll grab them later. But for now, this is just a short little set and you know, pretty decent. I like the way they got Paz looking though. Paz is definitely with that big old gun. You know, hold on, let me pop him off so I can show y'all. Check it out, y'all. They got him going on. They got a little gun right there, look at that. Thing's a beast and then they got the, whew, the pack for the gun. I think this was the, in my opinion, this is my favorite part of the set right here. It's Paz Vizsla. Yeah, Moff Gideon looks good, but yeah, Paz takes the crown for the best mini set. Let me see mini figure in this set, so. All right, y'all, well, let me know in the comment section what y'all think about the set, what y'all thought about the time lapse, and what y'all even know if y'all agree with me or disagree with me on this, uh, whether Paz is the best mini figure or if it's Moff, so. And excuse the helmets popping off. I'm just showing y'all the door opening and closing and pop their helmets off so all right y'all well let's get back in front of this camera give our final comments and thoughts on this set and we'll take it from there all right y'all let's get it all right y'all that was the time lapse and review of the paz Vizsla and moff gideon battle set um while of course there's nothing real quick you know that great and intricate about it it still is a good looking set in my opinion um four minifigures, two of them being absolutely great, Paz and Mop Gideon, you know, and then of course you got this, you know, the gate going and all that, you guys saw the review, I ain't gonna go over that, but I think for all, overall, it is a decent set, don't remember what I paid for it, but one of the small ones, and I said, I typically don't go for the really small sets like this, unless they have some, like, you know, meaning from, like, the main series and stuff like that, or something significant and I you know I, I really like this one so I went ahead and copied it anyway so all right y'all thanks for watching the video make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the notification bell and make sure you share the channel y'all I think you guys are gonna like all these uh Star Wars time lapses that are coming up so all right y'all well there's nothing more left to say other than it's your boy Josh we on the kicks and bricks channel we got the Paz Vizsla and the Moff Gideon battle from the Star Wars Lego set. Pretty nice little decent set here, y'all. Keep it locked in, and until next time, holla at your boy.